it's not the biggest water bottle you've ever seen. Judging by the times, I'm ahead of schedule. Water game, completed it. Welcome to another episode of Two Weeks at a Time, the series where I go through my life as a filmmaker here in the UK and the lessons that I've learned. So this week was kind of, I would say, moderately busy. I had my usual kind of podcast editing, I did a property shoot, another video for Corkers, and trying to chip away at all the editing that I've accumulated over these shoots. I was also invited to speak on someone else's YouTube channel, Dan Bohr, I will link his channel down below. Not sure when it's gonna be out, but basically he asked me some questions and my opinion on filmmaking, which was really flattering. The thing I found over the past year and a half, two years, is that my business seems to come in waves. One minute I'll be extremely busy, the next minute I'll be really quiet. And for the longest time I thought I need to do some marketing, I need to do some advertising. I used to just like ring around or cold call and things like that, but with the help of my business coaches, I have been looking into how I can build a sustainable funnel to try and drive traffic into my business. Funnel traffic, maybe these terms aren't something you've heard of before, but effectively they're just marketing terms of getting new customers and kind of churning them out the other end and making some money. So what I've been doing is building out the course I said I'd done before. I'm now trying to build that into a sequence that it will take people through with advertising at the beginning, funnel them through that funnel, if you like, and then hopefully out the other end, it will spit some clients out. This sounds very robotic, and especially if you're kind of a, a filmmaker or a creative, you think, well, oh, I don't like the sound of that. But the reality is if you're not doing it and someone else is, they're gonna be the ones that are prospering from this business. So my one and only lesson in this episode came from that process. Part of that process was me looking into other businesses, finding out what they do for marketing and other companies, and just seeing what I liked and what I didn't like about their marketing message to develop mine. And this led me down the path of comparing myself to those companies, whether that be their work, thinking my work's not as good as that, they've got the latest red camera, or just you know the types of clients or the size of their business. And I started to think about my own situation and just, like I say, compare and think I'm not as far ahead as that. And it was until I listened to Modern Wisdom podcast with Jordan Peterson. If you don't know who he is, crawl out from under your rock. He's a phenomenal guy and he's challenged me and my thinking over the past year or so since I've known about him. And the thing he talks about on the podcast, I won't spoil it for you completely, I highly recommend you go and subscribe to that podcast, it's phenomenal, is stop comparing yourself to others. The only person that you can compare yourself is you. That advice led me to look into my diary exactly one year ago and it was empty. Now, we were in a pandemic, not sure if you heard about that at all, but it just goes to show it's all relative, you know? I'm twice as busy as I was last year. I'm twice the filmmaker I was. Yes, I'm not, you know, I'm not Peter McKenna and I'm not like the best filmmaker in the world, but I'm twice as good as I was then. I've got twice or more money in my bank account since then. It's not all about that, but it is a measure of your success. And I think unless you look back and measure these things, you're constantly going to be comparing yourself to others and won't really compare yourself to where you were a year ago, because that's what's really important, that you're making progress. Something I really recommend doing is emailing your future self. This might sound weird, and I can't remember the website, so I'm just going to link it down below. But about a year ago, I sent an email to my future self, and I'm not going to get that email for another four years. I've set it to five years time. You can set it in intervals, one, five, whatever you want. But what I recommend doing is just writing down your current worries, your current stresses, where you're currently at, you know, maybe if you're trying to grow a YouTube channel, write down your current stats. If you're growing a business, write down your current monthly turnover or something like that. And I promise you in five years time, I haven't even received my email yet, but I 100% know that I'm gonna look back on that and think, why was I worrying about that? So it's just another handy tool to use to help you get out of that comparison trap. So that was it, just a really quick tip, something that I picked up and something I hopefully learned from in two weeks at a time, which is a series where I go through my life as a filmmaker in the UK two weeks at a time. So hopefully you enjoyed that. If you like this sort of video, give it a like, subscribe for more content, and I will see you next week.